Hey, hey, everybody. How's it going this Sunday? If this is your first time joining, I would first like to say thank you and welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. My name is Sandra Fellers, and um, I like to go live um, at least every Sunday and do a different craft each time. So um, I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you'll come back again next Sunday for a brand new craft. Um, and if you have not already done so, I do have a free crafting club on Facebook um, called Hen House Crafting Club. If you're interested in joining, I'd love to have you in there. Just leave me a comment that says hashtag club. That's hashtag C-L-U-B. And I'll send you the link so that you can get right in there. Um, it's, it's a great place to share the projects that you're working on, um, to see the projects that uh, I'm working on and other people in the community there are working on, um, to share ideas and inspiration and all of that good stuff. So um, I'd love to have you in there. Just leave me that comment and I'll get you the link right away. So... I have, um, I got my new club couture design in today, um, and if you don't know what that is, club couture is a monthly subscription um, of crafting supplies. So much like the uh, makeup subscription boxes and things that you've seen, um, this one is a chalk couture um, subscription box. So um, once a month, they will send you um, a transfer this month uh, for December we have less house more home is the transfer and then it comes with I believe three different uh, paste packets which would be more than enough to um, create this design um, and you get that every month you get the paste and the, um, the transfer and you can put them on many surfaces I'm gonna be using one of our chalk couture surfaces today um, it already has a design on it, so I'm going to show you how easily it is to get that taken off. And let's see, this one is the 9 by 12 Aiden board. So this is one of my favorites. I really love these distressed white frames. Um, you can see the little marks and stuff where they're distressed. I really love those. Um, so that's what we're going to be working with today, as well as the chalk paste. And I have buttermilk and grayish that I'm thinking about using. I really like yellow and gray together, so I think that will be a good combination on this board. Um, and then, um, if you would, um, keep an eye out for another live video for me um, later this afternoon. I don't do it every Sunday, but um, we do have a little contest kind of thing going on. Um, and I'm going to be doing a drawing to give out some free prizes to people who participated. So what I did was last Sunday, um, I, sh I created a post and I talked about it in my live video. Um, if you leave me a GIF comment, so leave a comment down below as a GIF, um, of what your favorite Christmas movie is. So all you got to do is click on GIF. And then in the little search box, um, type in whatever your favorite Christmas movie is and pick any one of the um, gifts that pops up. So that will get you entered into the drawing. And later on tonight, I'm going to be doing that drawing live with an app um, where I input the names and it randomly selects um, some winners. So we're going to select some winners later on tonight, and I don't want you to miss out on that. Um, and I will be mailing out um, some goodies to each of those winners. So let's get started crafting. I think I have talked enough. So I'm going to turn my camera down so you can see exactly what I'm doing and um, how I'm doing it. And we will go from there. So let's see here. Here we go. All right, so like I said before, we do already have um, a design on here and I'm gonna remove it. Now you can remove it with um, just water 
and I prefer to use a board eraser. I don't have one handy, but it's a round um, sponge-like um, item, and it makes it super easy to get these designs off. Um, and I usually do it at the sink, but since I'm here at my desk, I'm just going to use some disinfecting wipes and um, it'll take it off as well, but you do not have to use disinfecting wipes by any means. So I'm sharing this video on over to my crafting club that we just finished talking about so that all of the... Uh, in-house crafters can see it and let's get that going here so don't forget to leave me your um gif if you have not already done so you want to leave a gift uh, a gif gif sorry of your favorite um, Christmas movie so that you can be included in the drawing that I'm doing this afternoon or, or later on today because um, it's already afternoon so we already have some participants if um, if you've already entered one you don't have to do it again um, you can if you want to but you don't have to you're already entered in the drawing um, and I'm going to be using a randomizer app to um, pick those winners. Okay, here we go. We got that all set up. So, like I said, I just have some um, disinfecting wipes that I'm going to use to remove this since I'm not near a sink. And hopefully it doesn't shake my camera too much while I'm rubbing on this. So if you haven't done chalk couture before, this is chalk, um, but unlike traditional chalkboard chalk, um, it, it won't smear when you rub over it. So it won't smear, but it does come off fairly easily with water. So we're just going to get this all cleaned up and it's going to look like new. Another great thing is it doesn't leave that shadow, you know, when you would um, use your little board eraser to erase the old um, chalk on chalkboards, and it would always leave a dusty shadow behind, and this won't do that either. So it's going to look like a brand new board when we're finished. We're almost there. Bear with me. Another great thing about this washing off with water is if you get it on your clothes or on your hands or on your furniture, whatever, when you're working with it, you don't have to worry because it will just wash right off with a little bit of water. Because believe me, I get it on my hands all the time. I think we got all of the chalk washed off. Now I'm just going to dry it off so that when we put our transfer on, it will stick nicely. I just have some paper towels here. Always keep those handy. Okay, and let me grab my uh, fuzzing cloth. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, it's okay. You can use um, a terry cloth towel, um, but I'm going to use one of my fuzzing cloths here. And what that's going to do is it's literally going to put fuzz on the back of our transfer so that it's not too sticky. Because if it's too sticky, a couple of things can happen. When you're trying to place it on your board, it keeps sticking too firmly and you can't get it exactly in place where you want it to be. Um, the other thing is when you go to lift it up, if it's too sticky, you can um, stretch or, or mess up um, your screen. So all of these white areas are not empty. This is not a stencil. They have screens in them. And so let's just get started by removing it from our backer paper. 
being careful not to stick it to itself because when they get stuck together, they can be a little bit tricky to pull them back apart. So we're just going to put this down on our fuzzing cloth a couple of times to get some fuzz on it. And then we'll be ready to place it on our board. see which side is the top of this board. Suppose I like this. And I'm going to just try to center this a bit. Oh, I got a big fuzz right in my screen right here. A big piece. There we go. Okay, so now I'm just going to try to center it a little. See what I mean about trying to get it in place? If it was too sticky, it would just grab. Let's see. I think it's up a little bit higher on one side, is it? I think that's good. That'll work. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry if you get it a little bit crooked or a little bit off center. You're going to make this your own. So, what I was thinking we would do today is an ombre effect. And um, when you're doing an ombre effect, it's where you're blending two colors together or more. You could do more. Um, so again, we're using the grayish and the buttermilk. And so I already stirred these up before I started the video. So they are ready to go. Now, what I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to put the yellow on the top and the gray on the bottom. So, I'm going to load up some of this yellow on my squeegee. And I'm going to put it just on the top section. Can you see? Make sure I'm in the screen here. The top section of um, the words. Putting some of the excess back in my jar, but I'm leaving a little bit so that I'll have something to blend with. Because we're going to put the gray at the bottom and then blend them together. So, see I already got a little bit of chalk on my hands. Let me wipe it off. Okay, so now... I'm going to put some of this gray at the bottom. Like that. And then I'm going to use my finger and swirl it. So, wipe my finger off. Now, before I move on to the next word, I'm going to go ahead and lift up this top portion that we've already worked on and reveal our design. But also, I want to make sure that it doesn't lay down there too long and dry in the screen. So, I'm trying to be careful not to pull from one corner. I want to try to pull the entire side at the time. How's that look? Can you tell? I got more yellow than I did gray. But again, you're making this unique to yourself and it does not need to be perfect. Of course, my letters are backwards because I'm in selfie mode on my camera. But that's looking pretty good. So now I'm going to go down to house and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put some of the yellow and then gray underneath. Okay. 
Okay, let's get some gray. We're going to swirl it again. I left a, a lump of gray right there. There we go. Now that part is done. I've got some on my finger here. All right, so this is looking good. Now we're gonna go to the next part, which is our house. And I think I'm gonna do it a solid yellow. So tell me, um, have you guys started your Christmas decorating yet? I have not gotten my tree up yet. Um, I just really haven't had time to do much of anything, but I'm hoping to get it up soon. Am I the only one who's lagging behind here? I was wishing I had the week off after Thanksgiving so that I could do all of that. But instead, I've been working. That's okay. I'll get it done. All right, see what our little house looks like. Perfect. Look at that. Looks good. Now, I think I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to put the yellow at the bottom and the gray at the top. Okay, Let's see how that looks. Trying not to overlap on my house. And now we're gonna start the blending. That's cute. All right, we got one more word left. Let's see if we can make this happen. All right, again, we're gonna do gray at the top and yellow at the bottom. Okay, there's our gray, a little bit on that finger. Okay, now let's add some yellow. A 
little bit of the excess off. And I don't want to take it all off because I want to have something left to blend. Making sure the entire screen is covered. Okay. Time to reveal. Okay, here we go. Last little bit. And I'm going to drop that in a pan of water so that the chalk doesn't dry in the screen before I can get to my sink to wash it. So, what do you guys think? Oops. My camera back up. Like that. What do you think? Less house, more home. Turned out pretty good. I like the yellow and gray. That's the colors that I, that I'm uh, wanting to remodel my kitchen in is yellow and gray. And I like the ombre effect. I don't use it a whole lot, um, but I thought I would show it to you guys because um, I thought you would like it, and I wanted to make sure that you knew how to work with it. Um, and uh, give you a little something different that you can do to make it your own. Um, you could have done multiple colors. I mean, it's just the, the options are limitless. You could have done any color combination that you could think of. Um, you could have done, instead of each word have the ombre, you could have ombre um, the whole design where like maybe here up was yellow and here down was gray. Um, lots of different things that you could have done, but, um, I, I'm happy with how this one turned out. Let me know what you think. That's all I have for you for now, but do keep an eye out for um, the next video, which is going to be um, later on today, and it's going to be announcing the winners of the, um, the GIF contest that we were doing, where if you leave a GIF in the comments, either here or on the, the post that I made last week, um, of whatever your favorite Christmas movie is. So to do that, you just click on GIF in the comment section, excuse me, and then in the search bar, you type in whatever your favorite Christmas movie is and pick any one of the gifts that um, pop up. That will get you entered into the drawing. So later on tonight, I'm going to go live. I'm going to have a randomizer app on so that I can show you um, all of the names who voted and um, you'll be able to see live who the winners are going to be. And we'll do a couple of them and I'll send out some cute little prizes um, to those who participate or those whose names got drawn from participating. So I hope you really enjoyed it. Oh, one more thing. If you um, are interested in um, joining my free craft club, leave a comment, hashtag CLUB, and I will send you the link so that you can get on over there. Um, this transfer is only available if you join Club Couture, which is a subscription box. Um, this is the December transfer. If you're interested in that, I am happy to point you in the right direction of that as well. Leave me a comment or send me a private message, whatever works for you, and I will get you on over to that. And each month you get a transfer as well as the chalk that you need um, to make the design. So that's all I have for you guys for now. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday and please Come back and let's see who's going to win those prizes. All right. Bye for now, guys.